Hi everybody, welcome to the second video of the Changi Jewel walkabout. I'm doing a walkabout of Changi Jewel and I split the videos into a couple, uh, I split the walkabout into a couple of videos. I think that's uh, around five. And now I am exploring B1, level B1 of Changi Jewel. Uh, this is basement one. And as you can see here, uh, it's filled with restaurants and shops. And you can look at the waterfall right at the center there. And I am walking in the, the inner circle here. There's two circles. So there's the inner circle which have food options. And there's the outer circle we have shops. So as you can see, I'm passing by Gochi Shokudo. That's a Japanese restaurant specializing in pork stuff. And um, again, I am walking past Daokong. That's a co very co famous Korean cafe. Sub Thai, it's famous Thai food. I do like the beef noodles here. And wow, the the logo is pretty bright. Shiki Motogitsu, uh, that's Japanese ramen here. They have a sign with the little bird there. Uh, they specialize in very unique ramen that uh, has like four seasons, I think, kind of flavor to it. Walking to a corner here. All right, let me just do a quick pan so you can see the inner circle. The inner circles mostly consist of restaurants facing the fountain. You can see the waterfall here. Sorry, that's the waterfall. And towards the left, you can see the shops where you can order or there are some small sit-ins area. So you can order over here and you can walk across and sit at the sitting areas and view the waterfall while you while you dine. A pretty interesting concept here, this inner circle of um, basement one of Changi Jewel. So that was Commons, uh, I think it's a cafe that we just did a slow pan off. And now I'm just going to continue around this inner circle. To the right, it's actually uh, escalators. Uh, if you go up, you can. It, it's accessible to the rainforest and the waterfall on level one, so it's pretty convenient. There are seats here. You can see some old ladies here just sitting and chatting or looking at the waterfall. It's pretty, pretty beautiful, I would say. Pazion Cafe here again. Ordering is always to the inner inner side of the circle. The seating areas are on the out outer side of the circle and you can sit while you can watch the waterfall. We are approaching a white restaurant. Uh, this is a restaurant that uh, specializes in uh, bihun dishes, uh, which is very skinny dishes, uh, skinny noodles, skinny dishes, my goodness. <laughs> skinny noodles in broth, very delicious. Again, you can sit and watch the waterfall while you dine. Right, uh, this is Chincha Chicken. If I'm not wrong, it's a very famous uh, Korean chicken outlet. And that's so far. Uh, they sell Vietnamese stuff. I really like their beef noodles. Their beef soup noodles or pho, as you know it. And we are coming closer to Hoshino Cafe. Uh, there's a deli here. I don't think they have a sitting area. It's taken up by Hoshino Cafe. Sorry, Hoshino Coffee, uh, very famous Japanese uh, coffee cafe house. Uh, they sell pancakes and stuff. A little bit of Western food here with coffee. The seating for Hoshino is really, really posh. That's like a uh, black brown leather seats. So this is Pinkfish, uh, sell Norwegian salmon. And I am back here. At where I started off, uh, this escalators goes up to level 1, 2 and is on the other side of the waterfall or the rain vortex. Uh, both escalators from this side and the opposite side lead directly into the opposite entrance of uh, the rain vortex. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a walk at the outer circle and check out some shops. As you can see, I just passed Victoria's Secrets. Moving on to Seed. Uh, these shops, uh, I think they have uh, the usual clothes 
and apparels and whatnot. So I'm just going to take a walk at the outer circle. It's uh, pure shopping here. And uh, let's check out some of the shops here. Aptimos. I think it's glasses and some gifts. Very small trinket kind of shop here. Uh, we are passing by the smell lab and that's aromatherapy stuff I think there's mango to my right and there's the orchard skin to my left area is pretty spacious here um, throughout Jewel there are a couple of let's make hero I think it's a kind of like a makeup shop Correct me if I'm wrong, I might be wrong. I'm just uh, looking and just uh, commenting on things as I pass by. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a couple of very, very gigantic big shops uh, that are scattered throughout Jewel. It's a redemption counter there. And that's Ruby. And uh, one of the big shops that uh, are littered in this, in this level is actually Uniqlo. I'm spinning around, take a look at it. Gigantic Uniqlo outlet here. Right, another pretty big outlet here, there's Marks and Spencer. Uh, it took up the entire corner of this area in Jewel. So that's a basement one, a Marks and Spencer. Moving around the corner here, uh, there is ATM cash machine. So if you're short of cash uh, and if you have cards, you can always swing by to the right hand side to just draw stuff out. There's Typo on my left and Soul Spirit. Typo is a good place to pick up uh, stationery like souvenirs and gifts. Soul Spirit, a shoe shop and Bata, shoe, shoe shop too. So this is like a shoe kind of area. And with that, I've come back to the outer area. This is Commons, the cafe which I did a slow pan of. So this part, this is the part where the inner circle and the outer circle connect. That's Giordano to my right. And um, yeah, so we're back at the restaurant area, but there's still another area of shopping which is right across, which I haven't been to yet. So I'm going to check that out. Right, that's Clark's on my right, another shoe shop. So this is like the shoe area. Great, walking past where we've walked past recently. Uh, previously on our previous round so again the escalators go right up to the entrance of the rain vortex so very convenient walking past Pazon and the white restaurant so instead of turning left I'll go straight down and check out um, there are shops in this corner too so let's check out this thing own Days is a spectacle chain, franchise chain. It's really huge. It appeared throughout Singapore throughout uh, the, the recently, the recent years. Kimoji, I think that's a ladies apparel shop. I have Pedro on my right. That's shoes and bags. Uh, and there's this shop. Interesting call. Um, I think it's no ordinary bar or the shirt bar. Yeah, the shirt bar. So they sell tailored shirts and stuff like that. And uh, they also have a vending machine. Very interesting uh, vending machine here. It's 24-7 obviously, so you can buy stuff. And they do sell things like ties, uh, wallets and stuff in this vending machine. Pretty interesting concept. I can't really see the ties and stuff, but uh, because of the reflection. BYSI, right? And not shoe shop coming right up. In fact, two shoe shops. So that's Charles and Keith, uh, Singapore homegrown brand on my right. And further up is um, Pretty Fit. Yep, that's a ladies' shoe shop. Right, so I've noticed that uh, across this stretch and the previous stretch, there's quite a fair bit of shoe shops littered throughout this level. So if you're looking for shoes, uh, do check it out. 
coming up, I think we're coming to an area where there's a lot of American brands and outlets. You can see Zara here. Zara is really huge. It took up a lot of space here. Um, this is Zara Kids, if I'm not wrong. Look at the space. Amazing. Very, very spacious. Yeah. Great. And you come to another Zara shop front. And I think this is for women. Okay, there's Keda and Giordano ladies on the left and still Zara on the right taking up a huge chunk of space this is for the ladies check out the shop space that they've taken up man super huge seating areas are littered throughout the center so it's uh, very convenient if you're tired you can just go and take a seat and this is Zara man slightly smaller but still very 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 huge in terms of shop space um, more American brands, there's Levi's on the left, there's American Tourister on the right, Dockers on my left, Chamel on my right, TM Lewin on the left, right, and Denizen on the left too, and so on, so for Oisho and G2000. So, the lane behind me is full with American brands. It's like a small American section here. That's Pandora to my left, and that's a, a Twinklet shop with necklaces and bracelets and etc. Right. So with that, we've come to one full circle of the outer lane. So the outer lane consists of shops, and I'm walking towards the inner lane, which consists of restaurants where you can sit dine and watch the waterfall fall through this giant glass container it's really nice so with that i've come to the end of this b1 video and uh yeah do check out the other videos and i hope you had a nice time watching it thanks and bye